figure out here a little bit about the history of Peter Elkis and the Elkis Band. It goes back to 2002, I came to Toronto from Montreal and I was working on some songs of my own. Wasn't sure if they would be local rabbit songs. I was fairly certain they wouldn't be, so I had um, my friend Don Kerr help me make uh, an EP. And that's when Doug came on board, right? It was... Yeah, I moved here in May and, and um, probably we're playing bass on Party of One like within, by the summer, right? Was it yeah. summer? Yeah, Doug and I both found ourselves living in Toronto and, I, and we needed a drummer. And I uh, went down to watch the Bert Nielsen band play at the Horseshoe. And there was not only Gavin playing drums, but this guy, Jeff Hinshaw, playing keyboards too. And so I think I, when I called Gavin for the jam, I said, do you think your keyboard guy can come and play too? Because my mind was, was fairly blown. But so what year was that? And we have finally kind of, the, this was the group. 2004. 2004. Yeah. So it's been a little while, a little while now. Eight years, right? Yep. And uh, yeah, so then we were actually a proper band because we made a record in 2007 called Wall of Fire, which we made with a guy called Charlie Sexton from Texas, recorded mostly off the floor. And um, <clears throat> we've kind of been continuing on since then. And uh, yeah. instead of being like in a big studio like we had been in the past. Um, but luckily, it still very much sounds like a band record, because I wasn't even sure if at first everyone, if the schedules would work out so that everyone would be able to play on it, because everyone else, everyone's got lots of stuff going on, because uh, it's tough to keep a band together, uh, you know, kind of in the today's sort of climate, everyone's doing different stuff, and everyone is worth their salt plays in many bands, right? Jeff plays in a band called The Trues, Gav plays a band called Dearly Beloved, and Doug plays with Dave Bedini, and uh, many other bands. So, um, and I basically choose to walk dogs for a living instead, because uh, I can't handle playing in other bands. Although I do play with Joel Plaskett too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you like a person a fool. It crush a diamond with his own so right now we're going to pick up a bunch of dogs that I walk. So I've started this dog walking company and it's called West End Walks. Um, I operate in Toronto in the West End. Um, I started it a few years ago because I, th I think, I think if memory serves, there was a tour that was, I was supposed to do or thought I would do and it fell through and it was November, um, right around this time of year. and. Um, and I didn't have anything to do, and I didn't have any money. So, anyway, you may ask how this all pertains to rock and roll. Um, as uh, Canadian musicians, oftentimes, we can't make ends meet, because uh, it's kind of like touring this country, the ends don't meet. It's like a big, long <laughs> line of cities that are make, make it hard to tour, so if you don't have, um, uh, a release in other territories, or you're not working other territories, it becomes pretty hard. So, um, you know, it's about 20 years now that I've been touring and uh, playing in front of crowds, and it's uh, creatively, it's gone great. But um, you know, I think I need something else sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to pick up Morty. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll be back in a second. Sitting with an empty plate Somehow it weighs more every day And nothing is heavy when it's all you hold I know a man who understands the weight of the world So, um, this is the 
the basement in my place. And it's very much what it looked like when uh, we recorded most of Repeat Offender. Um, we moved down here just for, um, just for a kind of a temporary solution. We actually had to get out of the studio where we were, where we were recording just because we sort of had to press pause on the whole recording session. So yeah, just recorded it like on, on um, your sort of run of the mill computer. Uh, but eventually wound up with the LP that you see before you. And so we did this photo shoot down here too. Um, this is uh, not a composite in any way. So some of these dogs you would have met today when we were out there dog walking. So the other thing about this record, Repeat Offender, is that uh, it's actually come out on my friend Joel Plaskett's imprint, New Scotland Records, uh, which I'm very proud of. Um, Joel's a good buddy of mine, and uh, I've spent a lot of years now backing him up as well as playing in my own band. And so we play a lot of shows together. Sometimes I'm in the band, and sometimes we do a terrific little duo act that we do. So um, anyway, we uh, we should probably go and uh, play the show. We got we got some work to do. Got to do some sound checking and, and get to work to play a show tonight here at the Dakota Tavern. So thanks a lot. See you later. See you down the road. <laughs>